All right, we're looking at Alex 3, 4. Number three, it says, Maya places a bottle of water inside a cooler. As the water cools, its temperature in degrees Celsius is given by the following function, where T is the number of minutes since the bottle was placed in the cooler. Maya wants to drink the water when it reaches a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. How many minutes should she leave it in the cooler? Round your answer to the uh, nearest tenth, and do not round any intermediate computations. Okay, so we want to have this at 15 degrees Celsius, and degrees Celsius is the C of T. So if you're going to solve this by algebra, what you would do is you would just substitute in 15 for C of T. So you'd have 15 equals 2 plus 18 e to the negative 0 0.05 T. And we would solve this. Okay, and so uh, doing it by hand, I would subtract two from both sides. So now I'm, I'm trying to isolate, I'm gonna solve for this T. And so when I subtract two from both sides, I have 13 equals 18 E to the negative 0 0.05 T. And then I would divide by 18. And again, I'm trying, 18 is multiplying times E. So if I divide, I can get rid of that. And so now I have 13 over 18 equals e to the negative 0.05 t. And so by hand, the way you solve an exponential, and this is an exponential because I have a base raised to some power, the way you solve it is you switch it to a logarithm. So I would take this and I would convert it, when I say switch, I mean convert, to a logarithm. And, uh, whoops, logarithm, there we go, logarithm. I'm gonna switch it to a logarithm. And so the way to do that is you write your log first, and then I'm gonna write the base. Now when you convert, the number and the power switch places. So instead of it being raised, the base raised to this power, it's gonna be base raised to this number. So 13 over 18 will equal negative 0.05t. Now, log with a base of e, and I'm just gonna put an x here, is the same thing as natural log. So we can type in the calculator as log base e, or we can just rewrite it as natural log. So I'm gonna rewrite this as natural log when I do my last step here. My last step is going to be to get t by itself as divide by negative 0.05 because uh, those are multiplying. And so I divide all this by negative 0 0.05. So one more time though, when I rewrite this, I'm not gonna write log with a base of e, I'm just gonna write natural log. So it's natural log of 13 over 18. I'll put that in parentheses so I don't get it mixed up with this. Put that in parentheses there too. All over negative 0 0.05. So this should be my answer right there. And so we're gonna go graph this. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna type this in the calculator to find our solution to t here. Uh, all that right there should give me my t. And so I'll come over to my Desmos. I'll type that in natural log, that's ln, of 13 divided by 18. All this divided by negative 0 0.05. That should be my answer. That's how many minutes I should wait. And so T would equal uh, 6.508. And it says to round to the nearest tenth. That means one decimal place. So it actually would leave it as 6.5 minutes. Now, from the get-go, you could have used technology to solve this entire problem. Anytime you're given a formula, you can solve with technology without even using any algebra. So all this algebra it was unnecessary. So if you're gonna solve by the calculator, what you do is you first type in the equation as it's given to you, except I'm gonna substitute in 15. So here was the equation, whoops. And I think I need to put the power in parentheses. Desmos is a little uh, finicky about powers when they got multiple things going on. So I'll put all that in parentheses just to make sure it gets it all. 
So there's my equation, and it's actually not graphing right now. Oh, let me put an X there instead of a T. There it goes. And so it's saying the answer is right here. And if you zoom in, you can see that is 6.5. But to make it easier, what I've also said in the past is not after you type it in, do y equals the left side of the equation, and then y equals the right side of the equation. And the single number is where it's going to cross on the y-axis. So we've seen the answer is going to be at 6.5. And if I zoom out to where the y is at 15, I can see all three of these intersect. And once you have all three equations graphed, it'll show you a point that you can click and see the exact answer, that's 6.508. That's exactly what we had, but because it said round to the nearest 10th, I did 